Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, let's talk about it. One Crack News. Definitely subscribe to the page. Hit the like button. All of those extras. You know what time it is. Let's do it. Now, Africans and Indian students are facing nothing but racism at the Ukraine border. Nigerian brothers that's over there are stuck and they keep getting pushed back into the Ukraine, not being allowed to leave. It doesn't make any sense. Nobody can explain the reasons as to why. And no one here in America is even talking about it. Why? There have been videos posted with people's phones showing a young black girl getting pushed and thrown off of the train and they allowed a white girl to get on the train. Then they show another one where the international students are getting stuck at the border. Can't even get past. They're international students. Why they're not being allowed to leave? Tens of thousands are stuck in the Ukraine. Nigerians and Indians. So. <clears throat> why are they being told to stay there? <clears throat> the international students in Ukraine. Why are they facing the discrimination? Why America is not talking about it. There's people in Warsaw, Poland, who are trying to get some people out of there and get them over to Poland. Now, it's a, it's a hard situation. I know it's, it's a difficult thing that's going on here. But it seems to be a sense of discrimination going on. And it's a lot of people frustrated. They can't get on the train. And there's a lot of people angry as the reasons why they're not. As we see the Nigerians and Indians and Africans are being detained. They're being told to stay in a certain area and not get help and totally being discriminated against. Now they got 425,000 Ukrainian refugees out there and they saying that these refugees have crossed into the neighboring borders, right? Half of the Ukraine refugees have fled to Poland. So many of them went to Romania, Moldova, and Hungary, and they're trying to get everybody into these neighboring, you know, situations. But why they're not allowing, why they're not allowing the exchange to the international uh, students to leave. They're international students. They can go to where they're from. So they don't even understand why they can't be there. It's not making any sense. And government officials on every side is not even paying any attention to it, as well as the chaotic situation that's been going on since the war started, since people started flooding the borders. It's always what they're not telling you. always what they are not telling you so far it's been like what a hundred uh, immigrants have been uh, killed a hundred and two uh, not immigrants but civilians including like what seven kids so we got to really start asking the real questions here.
Because I'm definitely trying to figure out what's going on with our Nigerian brothers over there. They're not talking about it. It's not on the news. Nobody's really giving it any light. So if it wasn't for the internet, we wouldn't know anything about it. But major news is not really covering it. You know, so if it wasn't for the internet, I wouldn't have got it and been able to say I'm going to put it on this page and give it some light and let it grow. So. I'm just blown away, man. Oh, well, they, they, they talked big about the Pakistani students that stranded in the UK. All oh, the Pakistanians are stranded. Oh, my God. Nothing about the Nigerians. Not one thing about the Nigerians. I swear, boy, we must be some special individuals. We must be really special, more than we even know, if they would go to this extent all around the globe to dislike us. So, definitely hit the like button, subscribe to the page. And I am out. I will talk to you guys tomorrow when I have some more information and news. One Crack News, we out.